Yep, welcome back to uh, this uh, let's play. Uh, we are playing the Ottomans. We are doing well. What are we doing? I don't quite remember. It's been a couple of days. Uh, we are obviously at war with both the Timurids and the Golden Horde. And yeah, we were building a colony in Van. I think it's still there. Yeah, it's growing. And that will soon be finished if we if we just leave it at that. We are going to keep an eye on the Golden Hall though. They are having rebel problems as it seems. But um, they will be coming back for us, I bet. Uh, the Timurids themselves are nothing to be afraid of anymore. We have these areas. Uh, still to contend with and we have them both under our occupation uh, and as I said a colony inside one there um, yeah Hungary has been showing us a little bit too much interest lately with uh, sending spies to cause problems for us so I'm starting to worry about the Hungarians there if they are planning something nasty for us uh, I wouldn't like that. Uh, our uh, great allies and vassals up here, Bosnia, Serbia and Wallachia, are really weak and they will probably be overrun by the Hungarians in that case. In, in the case they uh, start something nasty. Uh, Naples, our uh, neighbor in the west here has expanded into uh, Sicily uh, and uh, also into Egypt here. We still have the Mamluks to take care of. I think it will take a couple of wars still but we'll annex all these parts of, uh, of Egypt and the Middle East there down to the Red Sea. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, nothing much happening really. Uh, Ukraine is forming there. Uh, France is uh, getting large. Denmark is at war with Sweden again as it seems, doing well. So yeah, that's what's happening around us right now. Uh, the most interesting thing is the fall of the Timurid Empire and the formation of Persia, stuff like that. So yeah, and we are now going to continue this and see what happens. Uh, first we are going to build a few buildings. Oh, we have a missionary too to send somewhere. I will now do... Where are the military buildings? Here. We can now do the training fields. I think I've done one of them in Thraki already, but yeah, we need all this. Uh, faster training of new regiments. <coughs> so yeah, that, that'll that come in handy. Our manpower is not really that high right now, but yeah. We'll do the armories now first, I think. And the armories. Mm. Recruiting and equipping of regiments at lower costs. Yeah, that's good to have in all our provinces. So we're going to do them in the pro, pro yeah, the provinces with the highest manpower. A couple of them now. Oh, I did that the wrong way, didn't I? No, I did. It I did it right. Uh, let's do two armories right now. Constables. Oh, we'll just pick one on random here, like Janina. There we are. We have now built our buildings. We might also want to send out the missionary somewhere. Into Greece, it seems, would be a nice place to start. We have a missionary in Larissa there, uh, so we're going to continue. Perhaps with Athens. <coughs> okay, yeah, Maria. Yeah, I'm going to do Janina. 
Ah, okay, we're building something there, so we are going to... Um, we're going to do a okay, care then. Send off our missionary. We are now getting missionaries as well, since we own Jerusalem, so yeah. We are slowly going to... Um, going to uh, convert all of our empire there. Let's unpause now, see where that battle with the uh, rebels there goes. What happened there? The army just disappeared or what? What just happened? Georgian patriots? Okay. Oh, some kind of an offer. It went. I didn't... I should have... Uh, okay, our stability is now up. The Golden Horde is going away and we are left to occupy Emirate here. Good. This is going well. I don't have any intention of going into Alania and these places because, uh, yeah. They would accept to concede defeat. They would not accept to, uh, to pay a tribute. But they would accept uh, the concession of defeat. I'm going to take that now just to get out of it. And yeah, that concludes the war with the uh, Golden Horde. Very um, effectively. What army is this? The Eastern Army. It's going to stay, uh, well, in the east. At Damascus, I believe I wanted it. And this is the main army. It's going back to uh, the uh, homelands there. Fine. Fine, fine. We have a magistrate again. I'm wondering if I should have... These are the embassies. I have no interest in those marketplaces. Yeah, that's that will be good. They will increase the trade income in a province. Uh, so yeah. Uh, let's build one in Aleppo. Seems like a profitable enough province. Oh. Yeah, Georgia is having trouble there. And it seems like the rebels have taken control in Syria as well. Uh, that sounds sounds quite contemporary, doesn't it? Uh, Syria is having a rebel problem. Okay, the English are uh, having an interest in us as well with their agents. <coughs> Actually. Who is Albania allied to? No one. Uh, this is government technology. Yeah, that's good. Level 9, we get a new idea. And we are now at level 8. Uh, let's check Albania. Who are they? They are allied with Byzantium. They are not protected by anyone. They are not in any alliances. Actually, that could be a great little expansion war. Byzantium will come in and they are probably protected by the Western... Uh, and the Western Christian? No. No, they are not. And neither is Albania. No. <coughs> We're going to try that. We're going to try... Uh, conquering Albania as well as Byzantium. Uh, that would be absolutely smashing. Uh, although our infamy is now rather high, so... I would have liked that to go down before I did anything, but at least the um, Byzantine islands there would be nice to have. <coughs> I'm going to try it.
Oh yes. A revolt in Archaea. That's why we have the army here. Oh yeah, our allies are coming along there, tagging along. Oh god, our general Tyar is dead, and that's the general of the main army here, so we are going to recruit another general. Ab Abdul Mezid Sisayu, okay, yeah, I can pronounce that, but that does not matter, he's probably a splendid general anyway. Let's now declare war on... Uh, yeah, it will get our infamy up, but we can't worry about that right now. And yeah... Oh yeah, they are guaranteed by France, so yeah... We're not going to do it then, not now. Later. France is protecting everyone, as it seems. Oh, <coughs> gain 100 ducats, that's excellent. Okay, here we go with Vaughn. Nomads are okay, we are now at war with the Karakoi only. But Vaughn has defected to us, uh, that's good news. Karakoy and Lu is not going to pose a problem as it seems. They are really having problems with Persia there. Or is that Persia? Who is that? Persia, yeah. Persia has a settlement, so okay. Look who our new neighbor just became. It's Persia. If I had colonists, I would take Sharizor as well, but I do not have any colonists. We're going to leave Karakoy and Lu pretty much alone now because their areas are occupied by Persia there. and So soon we will have to take care of Persia too. No matter. Um, the Battle of Achaia has been won. Did we crush the rebellion? Yes, we did. Let's move back to where were we? Macedonia. How about if we declare war on uh, France is the defender of the Catholic faith, of course they are, so yeah. I do not want to wrestle with France right now. I just want the truce to expire now, but that's going to take a while. The truce with the Mamluks, that is, 1478. Okay, Grand Captain Ali Malik has died. Not good news. He actually was our army morale guy, so we have had a lot of use of him. Use for him. Um, land tech investment, naval tech investment. We are not going to use those guys. Uh, we need to get that culture tradition up. So let's just commission a painting at this point and try and get our. Uh, where was that grand captain? Here he is. This is the kind of guy we need. Um, I'm going to get that culture tradition up a bit and then we're going to hire one before we go into the next war. Might be interesting to wrestle with France a bit though. Uh, if they land their armies, they are pretty much we. They're at our mercy then. Herald from Timurids, yeah, that's no, of no consequence to us. Also, I'd like to, at some point, take over Naples completely. But, um, for now, I'm focusing on the east, and specifically, the Mamluk areas here. I want to get those taken over as soon as possible. Let's check our Force limit. War exhaustion is down. Force limit is 55. We have 45, so we could do 10 more regiments. That is absolutely smashing news. So we could pretty much form a new army with 
ten thousand men. That's pretty cool. So we ha could have like one army out here as well. Because those Persians will probably come along and start messing with us sooner or later. How's our economy? They're doing really great. Net gain of 99 annually. That's really good. So far I think our troop numbers are uh, sufficient. But if we need it we can raise another 10,000. Also I think our fleet should be enough. We could build a couple of more big ships I bet though. Ah uh, no. We have 41 ships and uh, we can have 40. So yeah. Why am I having maintenance on full when I'm at pace? I can turn that down. I'd need to disband one ship to get that, get the fleet into uh, what. Uh, so let's do that. Oh man, okay, yeah, that's worrisome. Mm. Let's split off one ship here and just disband it. One galley. One galley, and I want you to disband. Okay, now we're not going to miss this. Royal marriage from Algier, that's what we want. Yes, thank you kindly. Let's continue. Yeah, we're now having a peace time. Uh, that's quite odd. We've been at war for most of this game, actually. And it's, well, it's a change. Oh, we have two. We are going to uh, do some paintings then. Oh, got a lot of this EU4 tune. Yeah. I'm when EU4 comes in uh, at August 13. I'm going to end this let's play. So we'll see how far we can get if we can create that Alexander the Great kind of empire or not. Uh, but uh, when uh, EU4 comes, I'm going to end this let's play and start doing let's plays with EU4 instead. I'm probably going to do my first very first game as a let's play it probably won't go that well but uh, it'll be interesting uh, I'll record it uh, and I don't think I will be playing the Ottomans in that probably perhaps England or Sweden uh, I've been thinking about those but uh, not the Ottomans but I will do a, a, of course an Ottoman uh, let's play with U4 as well. Of course I will. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Actually, we have a l we have many years to go before the uh, Mamluk truce expires. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to invade uh, Albania and uh, the Byzantine islands there. Our infamy is a bit down now and. Uh, our economy has been doing really fine again so I'm going to turn up that maintenance again for the armies and uh, we are going to go really when France comes into the war landing troops on these islands will be a bit of a gamble uh, so and we can only carry what nine regiments uh, but I think uh, I think five regiments should be enough to occupy the islands or rather yeah th these islands are a bit of a headache I don't know how to deal with them because when France and the Western world sends in their navies it's going to be really messy uh, and France will join because they are the protectors of the 
of the Christian faith. At least we could just go for Albania and see what happens and uh, not try a seaborne invasion just right off right off the bat here. But I'd really like to have those islands. <coughs> and unfortunately it won't happen without a war. Let's prepare at least. Yeah, you're good there. Okay, maintenance is coming up again. That's why they were red here, because their maintenance were lo was low. Let's wait for the maintenance. Let's split off 9,000 men from this. Or rather, I think 6,000 will do. That's 7,000. I think that will do. I've pretty much split this in half now, haven't I? So yeah. And let's load them. And as soon as I declare war, uh, Trebizon will become Turkish. Yay! Nice. As soon as I declare war, I will unload them on the Naxos Islands there. Uh, in the meantime, I'd like to get those troop numbers up again for this army. So, yeah, we can build 10 more. Uh, I won't need 10, I will need, like, yeah. Let's just build one, two. Six thousand. That makes this a twelve thousand strong army, shouldn't it? Uh, one more. I want more cavalry. Okay, we are now going to try this. We are going to declare war on these islands, and we are going to unload the troops as soon as possible. It's a bit of a gamble. Oh, hang on! France is not the protector anymore. The Hansa is. The Hansa is the defender of the Catholic faith. So yeah, okay, we are now going to do this. It's going to be a holy war. Um, they are allied with Albania. I hope Albania joins, otherwise we will let them we will let them join ourselves. So yeah. Did I send did I send it? Did I send the declaration of war? Holy War? No, I did not. There we are. And we have a, revol a revolt in Sidon. The first thing that happens, we are now going to unload the troops as soon as possible. Like that. And hope that Albania joins as well. Let's take care of Sidon as well. Ooh, yeah, they are getting a lot of friends to join. Yep, Albania joined. That's good news. Serbia, Wallachia, great, great, great. Georgia, Hansa, Mecklenburg. Okay, the Hansa and the Mecklenburg won't pose a problem, I think. Georgia, though, is quite interesting, although uh, we have no land borders with them. That's unfortunate. I'd like to occupy a few of their provinces there. Now let's see what happens. Albania has joined, going into Kosovo. Okay, Naxos has been won. We are now putting siege to the islands there. And they still have a bit of a navy there. Three ships. It's proceeding very well. Battle of Sidon was won. Uh, that was only a rebellion. Back here to Damascus. We are going to keep an eye on Georgia there, what they are up to. Two ships, yeah, won't threaten us. Our Serb, I think these are Serbian troops. 
Yeah, Serbian troops coming in to help us. Our allies have been really great. I'm really pleased with them. They are putting siege to that. We are going here. This can take its time, I think. Norway. Okay, we're at war with Norway as well. Riga, a small, small city-state. Oh, oh, always forgot to forget to turn it on. Ah, okay, okay. Magdeburg. Ah, no consequence, I hope. Our army is now up again in strength. And here comes the Hanseatic fleet. Very powerful. We are going to fight it because otherwise they want they are going to unload troops in our area. Um, they have an admiral. They are probably going to land on Crete. Oh, hang on, Battle of Seta, where's that? Oh yeah, that's up in Albania. A spy from Hungary. Um, let's see now. We're going to send in the navy to disturb their landing operation there. Oldenburg, also a small German state. We're now experiencing a sea battle. I hope we can hold our own. Prevent them from landing their army. Okay. Improvements in naval technology. Use caution, always best. Yeah, I think the sea battle might be won. It's It's a near run thing though. Of course they have an admiral and we don't. We won the Battle of Crete, uh, the sea battle. That should have prevented their uh, landing operation. Merchant ship wrecked. Lose 27 ducats, we can afford that. Our, sh our fleet now pretty badly wants to go into harbor to uh, why is he still there? How's it going now? Three regiments there. Go here, please. Merge these armies. I just wish he'd land on the mainland so we could kick his arse. Kick his German arse. Oh no! How ever could he land there when I defeated his fleet? How could he get troops across there when I defeated... Oh, he retreated in there. Okay. Uh, Georgia, white piece, I'm accepting. He defeated all my troops there. Just wipe them out. Now I can't get over there because he has his navy in there. <coughs> yeah, this turned out to be a mess. Oh, no, pause. I want it paused. This did turn out to be a mess. I can't get 12,000 over there actually. That's going to be quite impossible, but we'll take Albania and see where it goes from there. I should actually have let him land in Crete. That would have been far easier. Oh well. Now look, he's in here. 
Gonna have to face him. Oh no, our 30 minutes are now up. Uh, and I was having fun and it's, it's very exciting. Well, I'll leave it at this cliffhanger here. And uh, I thank you for watching. Cheers.